Chase McDermott is one of the top strikeout artists in the country. You want to see the guys that are getting strikeouts and making big pitches, that kind of thing. So that's kind of always, I feel like, the goal for most pitchers is you want to get strikeouts. He ranks in the top 10. Striking out, especially in a big moment, um, it's just a great feeling. I mean, it feels like you're helping your team get where you want to be. It's just that feeling of like accomplishing something that a bunch of people needed you to accomplish. Now, stop me if you've heard this one before. Chase, now one of MLB.com's top 110 draft prospects, wasn't always seen that way. From a basketball family, I focused on basketball probably a little bit more. I was really small. I was like 5'6", 110 pounds as a freshman in high school. Topped out at like 78 miles an hour or something like that. I had to work extra hard to try to find something that would make me stand out with college coaches and that kind of stuff. The basketball legacy Chase comes from is in large part because of this guy. Outside McDermott, his three beats the buzzer. My brother Sean McDermott uh, used to play at Butler, now he's currently playing with the Memphis Grizzlies. McDermott again for three. They left him alone and he makes it. That's cool, getting to watch him on TV, I mean, I love being in his shadow, honestly, like not hiding behind him kind of thing, but like I love when people talk about him when they talk about me because I'm proud of him and what he's done. I mean, I've got chance in baseball games still that Sean's better and he didn't even play baseball, so. Now, Sean may have not played baseball, but Chase certainly has, finding his own niche along the way. Baseball is always the sport that I love, the sport that I understood, like, on a deeper level. Getting into high school, I just kind of realized that baseball was more my thing. I mean, I've been in love with it since I was five. Which is unfortunate for Mac hitters, looking at. Normally like 93, 96, and then this weekend, 96, 98. And after injuries derailed his time in Muncie early, well, fully healthy, Chase is now just getting started. That's the thing is every other year, it's been kind of looking over my shoulder, trying to figure out when, how, that kind of stuff. Just get to go out and enjoy baseball.